Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great and faithful is the Holy One of Israel. He who was and is and is to come. How great is our God. How great is his name. He is the greatest one forever the same. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. You are great and greatly to be praised. Our Father, you reign. You reign supreme. You reign, O sovereign God, you reign. Who is like unto you, O God, who is like unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah to our King. You are great and you are almighty. Holy Spirit, you are welcomed here. Come flood this place and fill this atmosphere. For your glory, O Lord, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence. Holy, overcome us with your presence, Holy Spirit. Overcome us, overcome us. Overcome us with your spirit, with your presence, Holy Spirit. Overcome us. Hallelujah. Take full control, all of you and none of us. Father, we thank you for your mercies that are new this morning when our eyes open. Thank you for your blessings and favor that are released in this fourth watch hour. Thank you that every demon and devil, every witch and, war and warlock, every person, everything, every situation, every circumstance, every chant, every decree, every declare from the demonic realm, from the sick and heaven, from the, 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 the abyss, hallelujah, from beneath the earth, from under the sea, everything that has conjured up from hell and beyond that seek to come against us this day in the name of Jesus Christ, as wind, as wave, as chants, as arrows, as darts, as spears, as spirits of death, as spirit of destruction, we declare this day that we are covered, we are protected, we are shielded, we are guarded, we are kept in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As a mother hen covers her chick from all the elements, I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you cover us, you, you block everything that seeks to come against us. We thank you, Lord, that your fire is a shield around us. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. And that you your wings are a, are, are a protection around us. Your word is a cover, a shield and protection against the plots and schemes and traps of the enemy. We thank you, Lord, that we are confident in you, by you and for you. And Lord, as we declare and decree this morning that no weapon formed against us can prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned and destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, that you have prepared us for war. Therefore, we can tread upon serpents and scorpions and we have power over all the power of the enemy that will come against us and nothing shall by any means hurt us. We declare that the fourth watch hour is sanctified and the fourth watch family hallelujah is is covered is guarded and kept we thank you this morning oh god almighty that nothing shall by any means hurt us because we are the anointed of god hallelujah to the king of kings and lord of lords how excellent is the name of our god father we place everything for us and everything to us and everything around us before you this morning the very atmosphere we thank you lord god almighty that there is no heaviness for every dark cloud every every principality every spiritual wickedness in high places that seeks to come against our time in your presence this morning we send fire to them in the name of jesus we declare that no peeping no spying no listening no 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 declaring spirit that wants to come against us shall have any part or lot with this fourth watch hour in the mighty name of jesus christ we shut every portal and we tear down every blockading spirit everything that wants to set up walls and prisons our oh, father god every 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 demon and devil every human oh god that conspire to cause harm to us lord may they meet the fate of haman in the mighty name of jesus christ let everything that seeks to to set up against us oh god almighty fall on its own sword in the mighty name of jesus christ we declare that every trap oh god almighty will catch those who set it oh father every evil that is spoken against us will be reversed and destroyed by fire everything that is stolen from us oh god we will pursue overtake and recover all we thank you that angels stand guard run about us run about our children run about our marriage run about our businesses run about our jobs run about our finance run about our our health 
round about everything that concerns us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we declare that we are blessed and highly favored we are strong and not weak we are rich and not poor we are blessed and not cursed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we declare this morning that because of you O Lord because we wake up in the fullness of your goodness we are unmatched we are indefeatable indestructible we are blessed and highly favored of you in the name of jesus christ we are sons of the most high god and we walk in the fullness of sonship in the mighty name of jesus christ father those of us who live in the place of the of lodibar like the mephibosheth we thank you god almighty that today you are not just calling us to the table of the kings but you're you're you're, you're healing us you're delivering us father mephibosheth had an injury hallelujah that he suffered as a baby when he fell he was he was crippled but i thank you lord god almighty that anything that is crippling us anything that is holding us back anything that is making us unusual or unique or out of sorts not be able to blend in or match or seem to be in good stead we thank you lord that even before we get to the king's table healing has come to us in the mighty name of jesus christ every sickness and disease every ailment every infirmity that is functioning in our bodies as flu as covid 19 as sinusitis as pain in the back in the neck in the shoulders in the hip in the knees in the ankles we command those spirits of infirmity to go now every infirmity operating in the organs operating in the in the in the brain in the kidneys in the lungs in the spleen in the heart hallelujah in the liver father we command every ailment every functioning ailment operating in our organs we command them to go now 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ any sickness or disease any infirmity operating in our bloodstream in our nervous systems we curse them now and we cancel them by fire and we say lord jesus christ of nazareth send your consuming fire to burn out any infirmity that is in the bodies of your people this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ we speak to that left leg and we command it to be healed now in the mighty name of jesus christ we speak to that left leg and we say left leg be made whole by the power and the authority of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ of nazareth break and go break and go in the name of jesus christ we speak to every immune system disease this morning every infirmity in the immune system we command you to uproot and go uproot and go we declare this deliverance day deliverance from every ailment every sickness every disease every demonic oppression in the mighty name of jesus christ father by your authority and power we claim healing we claim deliverance we kill we claim blessing we claim favor we claim joy we claim peace we claim all that is rightfully ours as sons of the living god of the most high god as ears and joint ears with jesus christ of nazareth we declare that we are healed delivered set free and made whole in the mighty name of jesus christ we command everything that is in our bodies everything that we have eaten hallelujah or drunk in our sleep that we should not have everything that we're eat we have eaten and drunk in the natural that we volunteer to put in our bodies but it is not healthy it is not good for us it is only suiting satan's purpose to destroy to steal to kill father we reverse every curse now in the name of jesus every spirit of untimely death that wants to come at us through food or drink or accidents or incidents or harm or danger or any plot scheme or trap of the enemy using any other source human or spirit we reverse we cancel we destroy them by fire we we, we we carry the spirit that was upon elisha the holy spirit that came upon elisha that caused him to know the plots of the king in the king's chamber we declare god almighty that every plot being hatched in hell or in the king's chamber or in the in in any office or any house by any witch or any warlock any demon any devil that would want to come against the fourth watch family father we uh, we, we 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 have insights we have foresights hallelujah we discern and we know what the plans are and we reverse them we destroy them by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth every portal open in our house every insect every creature everything that is spying seeking or listening to our prayers to our our conversations 
everything that is planted in our homes to create discord and separation and controversy and yes, anger yes. and frustration we uproot them we destroy them by fire today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we speak to our atmospheres right now hallelujah and we declare our atmosphere clear from every witch and warlock every demon and devil every principality and power every spiritual wickedness in high places any form that demons and devils take we declare clear this morning that they will not have any part or lot with our atmosphere we speak to the atmosphere right now come on people of God begin to speak to your atmosphere wherever you are declare that your atmosphere is clear hallelujah there is no fear no pride no lust no wickedness no evil no sickness no disease in your atmosphere around you in your house in your workplace at your workstation in your car as you're traveling come on begin to speak to that atmosphere now and declare my atmosphere is clear my atmosphere is clean my atmosphere only has the presence the smell of the rose of sharon the presence of the living god the shekinah glory and divine presence of the Holy One of Israel. My atmosphere has only angelic presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and not fake angels either. Angels from the third heaven, angels of the Most High God, angels that ministered to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Only those angels are around me, are around us now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Angels from heaven, angels from the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask you even now, visit every Fort Watch family member visit them for their faithfulness visit them for their desire visit them for their commitment to the work to the lordship of jesus christ and to serving hallelujah and honoring and worshiping him visit them now touch heal deliver set free make whole in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth holy spirit minister your fire minister your fire minister your fire to every person every member of this family this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth let your hand be upon each and every one of us, upon us to heal, upon us to deliver, upon us to set free, upon us to make whole, upon us to manifest as a spirit of wisdom and understanding, as a spirit of counsel and might, as a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Minister to us, Holy Spirit, and bring forth the fruit of the Spirit to manifest in us and through us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the nine fruit of the Spirit become the foundation of our existence today in the name of jesus christ and lord let the gifts the nine gifts of the spirit manifest from us unto others today in the mighty name of jesus christ let today be the day when everyone will know that we are truly carriers of the glory of the lord jesus christ of nazareth by the holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ we declare today that we are more than conquerors not just in word but in power not just in word but in love not just in word but in self-control in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we declare and decree that no weapon formed against us can prosper in the mighty name of jesus christ we stand in victory we stand in blessing we stand in favor we stand in love in the mighty name of jesus christ we declare this morning that by by the spirit of the living God and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we live in the gift of wisdom hallelujah we live by the gift of wisdom we live in the gift of wisdom we walk in the fullness of the gift of wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we declare that we are fluent in the gift of knowledge knowledge is our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the gift of faith is our portion not just a measure of faith not just the blessings of faith not just uh, uh, fake on the surf faith on the surface but the gift of faith we walk and live and move and have our being in the gift of faith we declare today is the day when the gift of faith will manifest in us from heaven in the mighty name of jesus christ we declare that by first corinthians 12 hallelujah verse 1 and 4 to 11 hallelujah we walk in the fullness of the gift of healing that the gift of healing the oil of healing is pouring upon our heads even now we declare that no sickness or disease shall be able to defeat us shall come into our presence and not be defeated not be destroyed because the gift of healing is our portion right now we declare by the spirit of the living god and in the name of the lord jesus christ that the gift of prophecy is our portion we prophesy accurately we edify exhort 
and comfort by the gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The gift of prophecy in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare that as the Bible declares that the gift of speaking in tongues is our portion. We declare today that we speak in tongues. We speak by the Spirit of the living God. Baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire with the evidence of tongues is our portion and we embrace it and declare it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release the fire of the baptism of the Holy Ghost upon each and every one of you today. And I declare that if you already speak in tongues, new languages shall be your portion, shall come forth even today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if you have not, then I declare that you are baptized in the Holy Ghost and the language of the Spirit shall begin to flow from you like rivers of living water in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, you who are God all by yourself, you who says, if we being evil know how to give good gifts, how much more will you give the gift of the Holy Spirit to those who desire? him and so lord god almighty baptize your people baptize afresh this morning baptize with new tongues baptize with the fresh fire of the spirit of the living god lord cause a bubbling cause a bubbling cause a bubbling and a troubling in the spirit in the souls of every person here this morning let those who have never spoken begin to speak pour oil, pour oil of fire, pour oil of anointing, pour oil of glory upon your people this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as they come in, may they be like those who had to enter the holies of holies. Immediately as they broke the curtain and went in, they were completely immersed in the presence of the living God. No warm-up time. God, let everyone who come on right now, as they come into the holies of holies, may they be baptized in your spirit, baptized by your spirit baptized with the evidence of the language of the spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah if you are hearing me right now and you have never spoken in tongues hallelujah the oil the angel is pouring the oil of the baptism of the holy spirit upon you right now the hands of the angel is being laid upon you right now and you are receiving the impartation of the holy spirit of god and all you have to do is be confident enough have faith enough to know that you have received god's gift to you and therefore you can speak with the language of the spirit and just be confident and open your mouth and begin to enunciate begin to pronounce the words in the name of jesus christ we, we declare the gift of speaking in tongues by the Holy Spirit upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. The seventh gift is the gift of interpretation of tongues. Father, we thank you that right now, as your people are listening, that the gift of interpretation interpretation of tongues is upon your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that wherever we go, we will hear the language of the Spirit and we will hear it as the language that we understand, the language that we know. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ those who can speak Spanish will hear the language of the Spirit in Spanish. Those who speak English will hear the language of the Spirit in English because the gift of interpretation of tongues is upon us in the name of Jesus for your glory and for your righteousness sake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, this gift, the eighth gift of the Spirit, hallelujah, is the gift of God Almighty that we desire and need so much. The gift of discernment of spirits, discernment of the hearts and thoughts and minds of men. Hallelujah. Father, let an outpouring of the gift of discernment be upon us this morning, that our eyes will open to see in the realm of the Spirit, in, in, in our workplace, in our church. Hallelujah. In every place that we go and in everything that we do, Father, let the gift of discernment be poured upon us liberally and without measure this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you for your overflow. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your overflow. Lord, you are the one that told us us that if we ask we will receive if we seek we will find and if we knock we will open well this morning we're asking god almighty not just for the nine gifts of the spirit but god how can we survive without discernment how can we survive without knowing when the enemy is coming with a plot with a scheme with a trap how can we survive without knowing when the enemy has entered our place our home our space uh, even our church in the mighty name of jesus christ and so lord god almighty we need 
need all nine gifts but more than anything else god almighty we need that gift of discernment because that's what allows us to be able to access and utilize the other gifts with efficiency and effectiveness and so lord god almighty discernment 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 let us not be ignorant let us not be wandering around in the spirit not familiar with what is going on in the mighty name of jesus christ we beseech you O god according to your word we beseech you O god according to your will we beseech you O god according to your purpose for our lives release the uncommon gift of discernment of spirits and upon each and every member of this fourth watch family right now come on people of god you got to receive it receive it receive it the body of christ is lacking is anemic because the gifts of the spirit the nine gifts of the spirit are not evident in and through uh, the members of the body of Christ in this kingdom even at leadership levels and we will not be the same we are beseeching God we are standing at his feet and we are sitting in his lap and we are hugging him around his neck and we are saying like Jacob Lord I will not let you go until you bless me until you pour the nine gifts of the spirit into me and out of me in the mighty name of Jesus until you teach me how to function by your Holy Spirit in the nine gifts of the Spirit. So thank you, Lord, for the outpouring, our uncommon outpouring of discernment that nothing will miss us. But God, as we see and hear and smell, hallelujah, in this, in this, in this new dispensation, Father, give us the boldness, give us the humility, hallelujah, to walk in the fullness of what you desire for us to see and hear and know cause us not to be fearful in the name of jesus christ of nazareth but to stand courageous like david before goliath like david before the lion and the bear like daniel before the lion and like shadrach meshach and abednego before the fire in the mighty name of jesus like mordecai before haman father may we not fear may we not fear but stand in there and know that no matter what we see we only see them because they are already defeated we only hear them because they are already defeated because victory belongs to you so Lord as you give us discernment may we be reminded may we be encouraged that no weapon form against us can prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and for the ninth gift oh God Almighty we thank you for the gift of miracle the gift of miracles miracles signs and wonders we thank you Lord God Almighty that we the fourth watch family shall walk in miracles like never before we shall walk in uncommon miracles Father, that we shall be known across the world yes, because Lord. of the miracles that come from us by your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, men shall see our good works of miracles and glorify you, our Father in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that every name that is in on, in, on these platforms, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, on Arrow's Internet Radio, on YouTube, I declare God Almighty that as they are faced, Yes, hallelujah meet the screen the anointing shall yes, come forth and hallelujah. miracles shall begin to flow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare and decree that this is the day of our miraculous encounters this is the day when we are blessed yes, yes. blessed be let blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits mm -hmm. even the God of our salvation mm -hmm. we thank you Lord God yes. Almighty that today yes. we are loaded with benefits yes. we are loaded with benefits yes. we receive the benefits of the Lord yes. hallelujah yes. we receive the benefits of our yes. salvation yes. the benefits of being sons of the most high God we receive it yes. we receive it yes. father we know even the heavens are open mm -hmm. and we receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and because we have received miracles because we have received discernment because we have received yes. signs and wonders yes. because we have received anointing and power yes, we Lord. prophesy we declare and decree we speak mm. miracles to every member of this family Hallelujah. we speak miracles to your businesses yes. we speak yes. miracles to your jobs yes. we speak yes. miracles to your finances yes. we declare overflow. overflow we declare that no person that is yes. hearing my voice right now mm. live in living color mm. shall ever be broke again shall ever be poor again angry frustrated cross angry miserable I command every unclean spirit working against the peace of God in your life the peace of God in your family the peace of God in your home 
the peace of God in your relationship, the peace of God in your children. I uproot that spirit now and I break and destroy them in the name of Jesus. I declare that this is the year when with God you shall share and for you you shall know he cares and everything that comes against you it is, is defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the year when you shall turn around financially in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you speak, miracles shall ride on the back of your words in the name of Jesus Christ. If you speak death, death shall go forth miraculously. But if you speak life, life shall abound in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so I encourage you, speak life, speak life, choose life, live life, walk in life more abundantly in the name of Jesus. I speak abundant life to each family member this morning. I speak prosperity and good success that which God gave to Joshua. I declare that it is upon you and upon your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord was with Moses, was with Joshua, was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire, was with Daniel in the lion's den. So I declare forth watch family that the God of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Moses is our God and he is with us today. He is with us as he was with those patriarchs of the he is with us as he was with those matriarchs of the past. He is with us because this is our time and our season. And if we believe it and receive it, it shall be so. I thank you, Lord, that you are making yourself present and accounted for in the family, in the lives, in the space, and in the place of every member of this family this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, you are fixing, you are cleaning, you are you're, you're doing spring cleaning in the lives, in the body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotion of every person that is among us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and we declare that it is well it is well it is well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father I not only say good morning to greet my family members but I declare them blessed I declare every person on Instagram this morning as you arise as you look as you sign in you are blessed and highly favored I speak miracles signs and wonders into your life and out of your life through you in the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you on TikTok, I declare that God has already taken stock and he has it locked and he puts every blessing and every, every everything that is uh, his burden on your back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He puts his yoke of signs and wonders, blessings and favor upon you and remove curses in the name of Jesus. For the yoke of the Lord is easy and his burden is light. Those of you on Facebook, I declare this morning blessings and favor, glory and power in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that this is the day when the wisdom of God and the understanding of God by the Holy Spirit manifests in and through you. I declare that the spirit of counsel and might shall arise in you and go forth and men shall know you as wise and full of counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare this morning that the spirit of the Lord is upon you and has anointed you with knowledge uncommon, knowledge uncommon, even things you never read, never heard, never saw, never listened to. Hallelujah. Will become your knowledge base because the Holy Spirit who lives in you knows all things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and so I release the spirit of knowledge whoop, upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and as you flow and grow and glow and put on show by the power and the might and dominion of the Lord may the fear of the Lord keep you humble may the fear of the Lord keep you in that space and place where God alone gets the glory for your story in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and I declare that the fruit of the spirit shall always be what people encounter when they encounter us in the name of Jesus Christ and as they encounter us by fruit they will enjoy the gifts of the spirit that flows from us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth there shall be nothing lack nothing missing nothing broken from our lives or from the lives of those who encounter us as those who needed miracles signs and wonders when they came in contact with the Lord Jesus Christ Yeshua the Mashiach of Nazareth when they came in contact with Peter James and John Paul Philip Stephen hallelujah 
they encountered great miracles. Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but such as I have give I unto you. This is greater than silver and gold, greater than anything that you could ever experience. Father, I thank you this morning that every fourth watch family member walks in the greater than silver and gold, walks in the greater than what, would, what, what the world has to take control. And we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we will be the, we responsible by your spirit for the saving of souls, souls of our family members, souls of our friends, yeah. souls of our neighbors, souls yeah. of our nation. We speak to the souls of our prime ministers and presidents, yeah. our premiers, our leaders, our members of parliament in government, our senators. Yeah. We speak to every one of them, O oh God Almighty, every leader in our nations across the world. We speak to them this morning and we say, be submissive and surrendered to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. We release the spirit of salvation to governmental leaders, to industry leaders, to church leaders. Father, there are many people who are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and they're not saved. They're not sanctified. They're not Holy Ghost filled. They're not walking in the fullness of righteousness, holiness, and truth. This morning, oh God, we uproot every demon planted in the pulpit. We uproot every wicked warlock and witch that are parading as angels of light that are parading as men and women of God we uncover them we expose them and we say righteousness holiness and truth mighty men and women of God according to your anointing call and purpose shall lead our nation at Amen. all levels Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ Jesus. we stand in the authority and the power that you gave us as kings Amen. and you said that as kings and priests we can declare a thing and decree a thing and it shall be established we declare clear and decree this morning that our prime ministers, our senators, our rulers, yes. hallelujah, in the natural yes. shall come to know Jesus yes. Christ as Lord and Savior, yes. shall operate as righteous men, yes. our industry yes. leaders, businessmen shall move away from corruption, crime yes. and violence, from supporting careless, irresponsible things, from stealing uh, uh, natural resources try and make sure that they alone stay rich from exploiting workers not paying them properly and doing and, and treating them badly we declare that they shall come to know you as lord and savior and retreat and repent Amen. from those wicked evil be be behaviors as leaders we declare that leaders that are from the for, for the kingdom representing the kingdom father we declare a cleaning up we declare a cleaning up Amen. a deliverance for them in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we declare that every regular person hallelujah who you have called to be evangelists prophets mm -hmm. preachers teachers hallelujah apostles i thank you this morning oh god for the move of your spirit among each and every one of us to uproot mm -hmm. and to deliver to set free and to make whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you this morning, O oh God, that we are blessed, we are highly favored, our family is blessed. Yes, Lord, our children, our parents, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces and nephews, grandchildren we release your anointing upon them this morning in the name of jesus christ we declare that the, your spirit is emanating hallelujah even now through our windows through our roof through our foundation through our doors hallelujah and touching our neighbors our neighbors are being convicted and converted even now in the name of Jesus Christ they are wondering what is this going on in my house in my space our oh God those that those that are driving in cars your spirit is protruding through the glass hallelujah to the north south east and west and in in and imparting into other cars and they are feeling the conviction in the name of jesus christ we thank you lord god almighty that whether we're walking jogging driving sitting in our homes or in our offices that the place where we are is holy ground and everyone who comes in that environment experience the holy ground encounter in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you god almighty that the burning bush experience will be our portion that we will represent the burning bush that will speak and draw all men unto you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare and decree that it is well with our soul because we are committed and covenanted and have surrendered our souls to you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and so god almighty because you have heard us we declare that all boasting powers delegated against us is now 
silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power of witchcraft sent against any member of this family, we declare that you are no longer effective against us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare that you are silenced and destroyed by fire. Father God, I withdraw all the benefits of the hands of the oppressor against every Fort Watch family member. Every benefit that the oppressor has been getting from oppressing Fort Watch family members, I withdraw their benefits and return them to the Fort Watch family now in the name of Jesus. Every salary increase, every promotion that we should have gotten, every business expansion, 30 40 percent oh god increase that we should have gotten in our business oh god uh, performance we declare that it is now ours in the name of jesus every spirit of the oppressor every unprofitable spirit oh god almighty that marks against our business against our family against our marriage against our life be erased by the blood of yeshua the amashiach of nazareth right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we declare that we are our lives will no longer be unprofitable but now will be profitable in every area every way every form every shape in the mighty name of jesus christ i release the spirit of the profitable in the mighty name of jesus the profitable the good success right now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth receive it receive it receive it receive it by fire i declare that between now and the end of the year you shall see uncommon profit uncommon profitability in your life in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah father we declare hallelujah and we decree that every good thing eaten up from our life uh, by demons and devils by witches and warlocks by humans that were used by satan to take things from us oh god that should have been ours we declare that it is being returned now as david was able to recover all father so i declare that every fourth watch family member shall recover all that was eaten up by the enemy that was stolen by the enemy that was taken to dry places and to the marine kingdom we declare that it will be returned now 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ everything that is being delayed or derailed or even denied we declare them released and restored to us now in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that patwa tales is released from the prison of the enemy right now in the name of jesus christ it shall take off every book every 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 project that the Fort Watch family members are working on that seems to not be able to go forward I release them now yes, every no. business that is is, is owned right. by Fort Watch family members I declare that their their, their, yes, their advisor yes. has now become an angel in yes, the name no. of Jesus Christ I release angels to be your advisor your counselor your accountant your marketing manager your sales manager in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare that those of you who are working for companies and for years you have not been promoted or received a salary increase and there is always an excuse and people come and get promoted above you i release the angel of excellence to be upon you now in the name of jesus to touch you and to cause you to be seen by those who have been blocked through witchcraft and through the skills of the enemy to desire to make sure that you are not seen or heard or felt uh, but i declare that today you are now seen you are now known that the spirit of excellence shall manifest through you that you shall be in ah god hallelujah they shall not be able to do without you in that company in that workplace in the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh father we say let heavenly fire ignite our prayer life we declare that every fourth watch family member as of this day as of now will have a prayer life that shakes heaven hallelujah. will have a prayer life that cuts through through through, through the things of the enemy like hot knife through butter in the mighty name of jesus christ we declare that nothing shall block our prayer from reaching the throne of heaven as of today we declare that everything we pray shall be carried by fire to heaven in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we declare that every weapon of the enemy shall be destroyed by our prayer life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that no good thing will be withheld from us because our prayer life is solid in the mighty name 
name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, Father, let heaven and heaven's glory ignite our prayer life that we will be efficient and effective and excellent in our time of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. Father, let your anointing for spiritual breakthroughs fall mightily upon every fourth watch family member. Let your anointing for spiritual breakthroughs fall mightily upon every person hearing my voice now and who will hear later in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to those on, on, on Arrow's internet radio, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube. I speak to you now and I release the anointing, hallelujah, for spiritual breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. This day, right now, spiritual breakthroughs, spiritual breakthroughs, I release upon you now, spiritual breakthroughs as you stand by faith and declare and decree whatever situation or circumstance you might be encountering, I declare that spiritual breakthroughs is your portion if you've been trying to buy a car buy a house get documents released get your visa get your, your citizenship get your books released anything that you've been trying to get I declare this morning the anointing for spiritual breakthroughs breakthrough in the spirit has been released that job that you've wanted that change of address that you've been that you've wanted I release the anointing for spiritual breakthroughs if you will receive it it shall be so if you will believe it, it shall be so. If you will conceive it, it shall be so. I declare it so and done by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare right now everything that has been locked up for you, I pull by faith in the name of Jesus. The gates that have locked you up, the gates that have blocked you, the gates, I pull them open. I shake them off. Like Samson, I tear off the gates that have been blocking you in and I carry them to the far place like he took the gates to Gaza and throw them away that no man could replace them i declare that no demon or devil no human hallelujah shall put back any gate that have locked you in i declare you free this morning because who the sun sets free is free indeed and the son of god the lord jesus christ of nazareth has already set you free and this morning his emissary his son in the earth i rowan east and wade do hereby set you free again free in your mind as jesus has set you free in the spirit and free in the natural so i declare and confirm that the freedom of your soul soul yes. is yours your yes. portion Hallelujah. i declare your soul free i declare your spirit free yes. i declare your body free to enjoy yes. the yes. blessings of the lord that make rich and add no sorrow in the mighty name yes. of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve hallelujah angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him what a mighty god we serve hallelujah mm -hmm. hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord most high great and faithful is the god of all creation praise god praise god hallelujah 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 praise god from whom all blessings flow praise him all creatures here below Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Lord, you are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise, Almighty God. Hallelujah. There is no God like you. 
No one else can touch our hearts like you do. You are worthy of all praise. You are Jehovah. Jehovah is your name. There is no God like you. No one, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, if you feel the anointing upon your life this morning, just give God some praise. Just hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Forever days hallelujah what a god what a god hallelujah 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 yes i love that song you are awesome in this place mighty god you are awesome in this place of a father you are worthy of all praise to you our lives we raise you are awesome in this place mighty god you are awesome in this fourth watch mighty god and you are awesome to our family, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I can feel the tangible presence of angels. I feel the presence of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For as the deer panted for the water, O Lord, so our souls panted after you. You alone are our heart's desire, and we long to worship you. You alone, mm, hallelujah, are our strength and shield. To you alone does our spirit yield. You alone are our hearts, desire, and we long to worship you. Hallelujah. I just came to praise hey, the Lord Jesus. I just came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just came to praise. We come to praise you, Lord. Oh, we come to praise your holy name, Lord. We just come to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a time of worship. What a time of adoration. What a time of giving God glory for there is no other story but the life of one who gives God all the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. Praise God. What a time in the presence of God. Our devotions are so, yes, <laughs> Sister Glenn, it's a nice songs. Hallelujah. Praise God. We give him glory and honor and praise. Hallelujah. For he is worthy. He is deserving. All right. Let's try and see if we can get into a little bit of word a little earlier than we normally do. What a God. Hallelujah. What this somebody says, man of God, pray for my families, um, the gainers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gainers, the gainers. Father, we, we lift up the gainers before you this morning. We declare that even as they are called gainers, that they shall begin to gain as of this morning. As a Fort Watch family, God, we come together on behalf of the gainers and we declare that everything that the enemy has tried to steal or have stolen from them that caused them not to gain, Father, we restore their gain. Yes. We restore their gain this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare that this morning by your 
birth your power by your anointing by your spirit by your holy angels we we, we 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 go after in the realm of the spirit we pursue in the realm of the spirit everything that has been stolen from the gainers everything that has been placed upon them oh god to separate them to hurt them to cause infirmity to come upon them to steal kill and destroy their love and their family bonding to take away their finances father we pursue overtake and recover all from under the earth from the second heaven and from under the sea in the marine kingdom we restore for the gainers with interest in the mighty name of jesus christ and any other family oh god almighty that is here whether on instagram tiktok Facebook or Arrows Internet Radio or YouTube. Father, we pursue with the same aggression. We pursue with the same excellence and we recover all for your people in the mighty name of Jesus. And all they have to do to take advantage of that restoration is say, I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. I receive my restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so I thank you, Lord, that favor, hallelujah, has been restored to the gainer's family. And it is well with not just them, but every other family member of this family in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. hallelujah hallelujah father we just lift up kemani hallelujah and our friends who are traveling overseas today father we declare that safe travel safe passage we ask you to assign angels even now to make crooked places straight and rough roads smooth as they travel father let angels be on the wings in the cockpit with the pilot let angels be the stewards and stewardesses in the mighty name of jesus christ let angels hallelujah operate the wheels let no mechanical or electrical failure come nigh the airplane in the name of jesus christ and we thank you lord that they shall not only fly and land safely but shall go through immigration safely and shall travel from the airport to the place where they are staying safely and return home safely when that time would have ended in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah 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 bless god okay so we're getting into the word now as you would have known or imagined we are in first corinthians chapter six and yesterday we had a good time looking at uh, the various ways that purity can come forward not just uh, as the as the passage is alluding to in the natural with with sexual immorality and sexual thoughts and sexual ways of living and doing things the bible says that jesus said to 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 some persons who were trying to to categorize sex and and um and immorality and he says uh, jesus was making the point that listen um you 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 heard about sexual immorality of the past and you heard about adultery and fornication but jesus says i say if a man looks at a woman and conceive or conspire any kind of sexual contact and i'm paraphrasing now and setting it up in our language that we can truly understand but i'm not missing the theme or context of what jesus was saying he says that if we look no man um sister k is first corinthians 6 first corinthians chapter 6 oh you're saying we're no it's verse we're at verse 17. Yes, we just we finished verse 17. So it's not chapter 17, it's verse 17. Okay, you had me there for a little bit. But you're right on the ball, Sister K. God bless you. Hallelujah. And so Jesus said that if you look at a woman with a lustful thought, you have already committed adultery. And so Jesus, who a lot of people think came to make life easier for us, Honestly, what he did was came to make life way more difficult. He said, well, pastor, how is that? That, that? that don't make no sense. Why would he come to make life difficult that it was already hard? The, Jesus had to come because the disciples, the, sorry, not the disciples, the Jews could not fulfill the law. Not Moses' law, not the Ten Commandments law. They could not fulfill it. So why would Jesus come to make it more difficult? Let me tell you why. Because he came to also give us, come on, uh, the Holy Spirit, that we would stop depending on our own strength because we couldn't do it by our strength. We cannot resist. Let me tell you, the best of male who is faithful to his wife does not do it of his own strength. I am telling you, you don't understand. The best of, 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 of husband, the best of wife, does not necessarily stay faithful or committed 
to anything at all that is righteous, holy or true, by their own strength. And that's what Jesus came to do. He came to remove our own efforts, our own strength. That's why he says, let the weak say, I am strong, strong in him. Let those, let all people say, I can do all things. But who? Through Christ who gives me strength. So it's only in Christ's strength that we are able to do the exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask, think or imagine. Amen. And so when you see these things here and he's saying, um, don't be, 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 be inundated or don't be, be, um, be drawn away by food that is supposed to be for the stomach. He is saying that when time comes to fast, even though the stomach needs food to fill it up and to produce fuel so that the body can operate, a part of our own our, our demonstration of the gift of the Holy Spirit that Christ has given to us is the ability to resist the desire for food and to say I can live without it for X number of days because I have self-control by the Spirit mm -hmm. hey come on now and the same way we can fast and resist food for a season is the same way we can fast and resist other things that are either a part of what is the unit like so for example sex with within in the context of marriage we are able to resist that in the same way we're able to resist food for x period of time paul says when you are about to fast you must get agreement with your spouse so that you can keep yourself pure during that time but not too long so that there is no sin that will creep up in the midst of the family amen Hallelujah. So verse 17, just as a momentum says, but he who unites himself with the Lord is one with him in spirit. We Fort Watch family members have made a decision. All of us have made a decision to unite ourselves with the Lord and become one with him. Now, there are some of us who feel as if we are not united to the Lord, even though we have said, Lord, we want to unite with you. Because we're not seeing the blessing, we're not seeing the favor, we're not seeing some things happening on our behalf. But I'm saying to you that one of the ways that you know you are united with Christ is when you have to go through some difficulties. Come on. We don't, we don't necessarily teach it like that, as plain as that, um, as, as, as leaders in the kingdom. But I'm telling you, one of the ways that you know you are deeply immersed in Christ. You are one with him is when you go through some of the things that he went through. Come on. G How did Jesus learn obedience? Anybody know? The Bible says Jesus learned obedience through the things he suffered. Amen. And so if, if that's how we, if he learned obedience that way, maybe that's how we will, will learn obedience as well. Because when things are going good for us, we tend to forget and walk off into, excuse me, different directions. Hallelujah. So verse 18, we pick up with the momentum. It says, flee from sexual immorality. Full stop. Flee from sexual immorality. A statement. Now, we could say flee from not just sexual immorality, but flee from lying, free from cussing, free from anger, flee from anger. Come on. Flee from being mean, cantankerous, quarrelsome. Flee from being fearful, doubting, unbelieving, disobedient, rebellious. All those things are just as dangerous to the heart as sexual immorality. All of them. And so in a lot of instances, in the kingdom of God, uh, churches and, and, and people in general tend to focus so much. Boy, if you commit sexual immorality, that's it. You sign off, you cut off, you're certainly going to hell. But I'm here to tell you this morning that if someone is sexually pure, if someone is pure and, and free from sexual immorality, but they are cross, angry, miserable, cantankerous, always quarreling, always accusing, always condemning, always mean, always lacking in love, lacking in faith, you're still going to go where the sexual immoral has gone. Ouch. It's the truth. I got to tell you even when it hits me. 
I have to tell you the truth. Amen. So, 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 so it must. We must focus. We must understand. Yesterday, I had the joy and the pleasure of explaining to one of um one of our dear friends the the the, the difference between the spirit of the word and the literal word. And this is one of such case. So here it is that this word only says flee from sexual immorality. But if you focus only on what this literal word says here so, then you'll miss the spirit of even other things that are mentioned in other places that fits this same description. And so when you're dealing with the word like this, you can draw other things and inference other things that are mentioned by spirit of the word. Because when he says free sexual immorality, if you take sexual immorality as the key thing, as the head thing, like some uh, ministers have done, then it becomes the only thing that people must flee from. But I'm here to tell you that it's God says, nature. be he holy, yes, as I am holy, which means everything that is unholy, everything that is impure is supposed to fall in this sentence. Flee from everything unholy and impure everything that is immoral flee from it but it's just that right now for this case he's talking about sexual immorality and not the other 900 million things amen so he says flee from sexual immorality for all other sins a man commits are outside his body but he who sins sexually sins against his own body so now watch this now paul is making the reference to the corinthians that sexual sin is different from the other sins come on that comes out of the body so when you lie it comes out of your soul come on when you get angry miserable it comes out of your soul but sexual immorality is when you link in connects to someone else and allows that contamination to enter your soul hallelujah and so the soul or the body or the life of the human being is supposed to only host the holy spirit so remember he was talking to the corinthian church so as christians he was talking to and so as christians i'm talking to you as well and i'm saying to you even though i'm saying this to anyone who is unsaved as well when you get involved in sexual immorality it means intercourse with anyone who is not your god ordained wife legally in the natural and in the spirit when you get involved in any kind of encounter and please hear me carefully I want to use the correct language. Uh, it, it also means masturbation. It means watching pornography. It means entertaining thoughts of lust. Those are sexual immorality as well. It's not just actual intercourse. Are you hearing me? Big people discussion this morning. Because impurity, hallelujah, takes place in through the eyes, <coughs> through the ears, come on, through the mouth, through the fingers, as well as through the, 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 the various organs. So any kind of penetration from anywhere at all, any kind of touching, any kind of stimulation that produces a sexual adrenaline that is not according to God's prescribed way is a sexual immorality that contaminates the castle or the housing or the oracle or the tabernacle that carries the Holy Ghost. Wow. Wow. So I know that sometimes some people get uncomfortable because we have heard of many Christians who, 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 who comfort themselves. They don't want to commit sexual immorality. So they, 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 they pleasure themselves with either toys or with their own um, implements that God has given them. I'm saying to you, you might be struggling, but you need to get help. Because I'm saying to you, just, all right, can I just say this and then I'm going to move off of that. I'm not going to belabor that this morning. Imagine to yourself, imagine to yourself, if you think that this is your best hope of staying pure, just imagine this. I give you this picture, like a Netflix movie. Imagine you're in the midst of pleasuring yourself, whether you be male or female, and the trumpet sounds and the roof of your house open and Jesus puts in his appearance out of the heavens. What do you think will happen? Would you be comfortable as if your hands were up and you were worshipping and saying, Yes, Lord, I thank you. I welcome you, oh God. You are awesome. I've been waiting for you to come. Is that how you would feel 
if you were in the midst of doing that, pleasuring yourself, I doubt if any well-thinking, non-demonic oppressed person would say, yes, I know I would be all right. It therefore means that in your deep subconscious, though it is something that has kept you a little comfortable or keeps some people a little comfortable, because we don't have any, any of those people in the Fort Watch family, though it keeps them a little comfortable, they know it is wrong. And if God is a stickler for detail, then when he comes, anything that is outside of his will and purpose is going to be punished. How? I can't tell you. But I can tell you that he's coming back for a church, he says, without what? Spot without spot or wrinkle. Masturbation is a spot and a wrinkle. Do I have the answer in what to tell you to do to stop? It's tough, but discipline. He says, I've not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of self-control. Mm -hmm. Self-control. Ask him to help you to control yourself because you don't want to spend so much time abstaining from human interaction and then still go to hell. That makes no sense or still be punished. I don't like mentioning go to hell because... It, 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 it's kind of a little funny and it's only God who decides who will go to hell or to heaven and so I'm not one of those persons who will use anything to condemn people to hell but you understand what I'm saying so as sister Sharon says mighty God when the revelation hits anything that we're doing those of you who are not those of you but those of us as kingdom citizens who struggle with anger who struggle with with, with certain kind of character traits i'm saying to you that jesus is going to put in his appearance and catch all of us or some of us or a lot of us in situations that he told us that we shouldn't do that that does not represent his character and nature that does not represent his kingdom what happens when he comes I have, to, I have to tell some people at my workplace bad words to get them to do some work. What happens when you're telling those bad words and Jesus puts in his appearance? Will you then say, Lord Jesus, I had to do it because that's the only thing they respond to? Food for thought. So when he says flee from all these immoralities, he means flee from them. But then he's making the point that what happens to a lot of us is that when we get involved in sexual immorality, it contaminates us from the inside out. Now, what Paul may not have said here is that that contamination is a portal that facilitates many other sins and evil to come forth out of our bodies. Remember, Jesus said to the Pharisees when they were trying to, 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 to inject their so-called righteousness upon Jesus and the disciples. And Jesus put them in their place. He says it is not what goes into a man that defiles him. Because the disciples were them up and down and minister the gospel and they never had any water close by to wash their hands. But they wash their hands ceremonially to, to, to show that they are clean. But washing your hands doesn't mean that you are clean. It just means your hands clean. Come on, glory to God. Amen. And so they were trying to, 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 um, to impose upon the disciples this whole ritual of once your hands clean, then that means you are clean. And Jesus said, listen, they, they don't have to worry about what they eat if, if they could dirt on their hand. After all, he could have said to them, I made the dirt anyway. <laughs> you know? But he says, it is not what goes into a man that defiles him, it's what comes out. And so I'm saying to you guys, sexual immorality of any kind, according to this word of God, contaminates us from the inside. And so yes, sexual immorality will also come out from inside because it's in there. But I'm here to tell you this morning by revelation that that which contaminates the inside of the jug produces other things that demonstrates the contamination. Amen? So one who is engaged in sexual immorality, chances are will also engage in lying because sexual immorality as a practice is going to require that you deny that you are involved in sexual immorality because you know it wrong. And as a Christian, you're not supposed to be doing it. So if your pastor says, stand up all who are involved in sexual immorality in the church, 
you're not going to stand up. You're going to keep sitting down. Which means automatically, because of sexual immorality, you've started to lie. <laughs> you will want the time run off on this finish, not true. I, I know, me too, me too. Hallelujah. But it's the truth and we got to face it and then begin to pray. Lord, help me. Help me to do what is right. Help me to be right. Help me to live right. Help me, God, because I can't do it on my own. Mm -hmm. I am living proof, guys. There was a point in my journey when I had to be before God saying, God, help me. Help me to live right. Help me to walk right. And here I am today. And if he can do it for me, he will do it for you. We can't continue to live in a way that is not pleasing to God and keep saying, oh, I know his grace will be sufficient. His grace is only applied when we come to a place of repentance, a place of submission, a place of acknowledgement, a place of brokenness and say, God, I need help to stop this thing. Then his grace comes and not only forgives, because remember, grace and mercy his mercy forgives and his grace helps to restore. His grace renews. His grace strengthens. His grace gives us the ability to go on and to resist the devil that he will flee from us. I'm saying to you, I can't tell you the strategy or the technique to use, but I can tell you that if you cry out to God, his grace will be sufficient. If you cry out to God, his mercy will be applied. For his mercies are new every morning. It therefore means that no matter what you did yesterday, this morning as you cry out, confidently as you cry out knowing that he is God is a God who forgives he's a God who desires to restore and renew as you cry out today God last night I did what I promised that I wouldn't do the night before ah uh, he says that's all right daughter I don't I don't like that you do it but I like that you cry out in in, in repentance I like that you cry out and say you're sensitive to the fact that this is not a good thing Amen. Mm -hmm. And what will happen? Hear me carefully. I can guarantee you what will happen. Some instances, depending on who you are and how God relates to you, he may snap his finger and all feeling and all desires for that thing just goes. With some people, he says, you have to work with me because where I'm taking you, you have to learn to resist the devil that he will flee from you. And so you have to, when that feeling comes, you draw on my anointing, you draw on my power, you draw on my spirit, you draw on my word, and I will strengthen you to resist. I made it through many nights just by saying, God, I thank you that you are with me. And he just caused me to fall asleep. And when I woke up in the morning, I realized, wow, last night I thought I would have died if I didn't do what I wanted to do, what my body was craving for. But I realized now that the devil is a liar. He told me that I would die. He told me that I couldn't make it to morning unless I did what my body was desiring. But here I am in the morning by God's grace, which means I, 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 I recognize that the devil was a liar for what he was telling me last night. But God is faithful for what he did to take me through the night. My God. Whee! Somebody should get excited for that. That's God speaking. I'm saying God just wants us to come to that place of recognizing that his word is truth. His word is life. Mm -hmm. And we will not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on. We're pushing. We're pushing. We're pushing. Hallelujah. So, so, so he says, verse 19. We're at 19. You're following? Sister Denise, you like it? Praise God. Hallelujah. He says, do you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You notice he keeps breaking up all of these elements. Watch it again. He says, do you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? Our bodies carry the Holy Spirit. Any kind. Hear me, guys. This is mentioning and talking about the contamination of the temple through sexual immorality. And it is true. But I'm also saying don't get into the old time days mindset where we think that once we are free from sexual immorality, we're not contaminating the temple where the Holy Spirit lives. 
anger, lack of love. Come on, gossip, mm. lying, mm. any form of wickedness, witchcraft, rebellion, mischief. dishonor, mischief. The Bible says six things in here. Oh my God. Seven things he detests. A Come on, tongue a lying tongue. Mm -hmm. So a lying tongue contaminates the temple as well. Mm -hmm. It contaminates us as well. So we have to constantly be saying, Lord, help me not to contaminate the vessel that carries the Holy Ghost. Come on, it's one of our prayers. So you can say it right now as we're going through. Lord, help me not to contaminate this vessel. That is the carrier of he who is pure, he who is righteous, he who is holy, he who is true. Mm. Proverbs 6, hallelujah, 16 to 19 says, These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination mm -hmm. unto him. A proud look, that means if we look at people proud or if we look proud, parading like a peacock, hallelujah. Oh my God. He says a proud look, a lying tongue. We cannot afford to lie. Truth is of God and truth comes from our inside. And hands that shed innocent blood. Sometimes it's not literal blood. Sometimes we sign off on documents that hurt people. That unfairly fire people. That puts people in, 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 in problems. That's also shedding spiritual blood. Because it literally caused damage. Sometimes someone commits suicide because of what someone else did to them. That same shedding innocent blood. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Hallelujah. 18. An, uh, an heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. My God. Just think it. Not Just think it. it. And it comes from a contaminated place. Our brain, our mind, our thoughts mm -hmm. are on the inside. And so when our inside is contamination, contaminated, we devise wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. Anywhere there is a little gossip. Anywhere there is a... Something you see in some communities, uh, things are happening. People are fight, And people running just to go video it. Just to go say, lick him, lick him, lick her. Tear off her clothes. So they can get all kinds. So they're encouraging evil. They're running to create mischief. Not to pray or to part oh, or to bring peace. God hates feet that run to mischief. And I'm telling you, even just to run to the scene and videotape to go live. That's running to mischief. Because he didn't run. To do what God would want you, you to do. You never run for peace or for blessing of the person. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. He that is facilitating and saying, Hey, you know she no good door. You know she no good door. Stop talk to her. Yes, that mm -hmm. Absalom spirit, that Jezebel spirit. Mm -hmm. Those things that get between people and create discord, God hates it. It is abomination. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. So he says that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit and we must guard it in the same way. And so that's why you see how it connects now. God is confirming that if our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, then we can't use it in, in ways that are just designed for our own personal pleasure. We have to understand that the Holy Spirit wants to consume us without measure. Amen. Who is, who, who is in you whom you have received from God? So the Holy Spirit is a gift from God and we're supposed to prize that gift. Amen. You are not your own. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Here he says, you are not your own. We are not our own. Mm -hmm. So Paul is telling the Corinthians, come on guys, shape up. You made a decision of your own free will to submit and to surrender your life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's your decision. Mm -hmm. You made it. Too many of us are so easy, easily led away from a covenant that we have made. Covenant of marriage. Lax, she talked too much. She made hurt me. You know what? I want a divorce. 
Locks me not get what I I'm not getting what I want every day. Locks him don't make enough money. Locks I didn't realize that a same nose big. It did look nicer when him take locks. She 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 did look better on the wedding day because she had on makeup. Now she don't look as good, so I want a divorce. We 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 we, we don't understand that we're not our own. That we have to go through things in order to build and develop. We're too easily led astray. We're too selfish. Yesterday in a pastor's meeting, we were talking about, um, about the state of, of, of the various churches and the state of, not, not churches, but the state of marriages in the church. People who are supposedly senior Christians who love God, who, who, who worship like whoa, who pray, who are on intercessory teams, who are pastors, elders, deacons, veterans in the church. And they're living at home like puss and dog, fighting, crying, punching, kicking, spiting, malicing. And then come to church, come, oh Jesus, you are awesome in this place. And then when they're driving home from church in the car, they can't speak to each other. Not because they just want a quiet moment, but because they're vexed. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. How could he deceive people who are reading the word of God mm -hmm. in such a way that they think that in their malice going home, if Jesus were to come, that he would take them up and say, well done, good and faithful servants. Enter into my kingdom. Enter into my rest. Please, guys. That's false. Don't get... Yes. So when you go to church, that's, you are pretending. You're witnessing you're one witnessing thing. You're witnessing one thing and then living another way. So that you're but you can't trick thing. God, people of God. We it's cannot me. trick God. Mm -hmm. We cannot trick God. He sees and knows everything. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, no matter how sainty you look before our brothers and sisters in Christ, no matter how perfect we seem, how anointed we seem before our brothers and sisters in Christ, it is not our brothers and sisters in Christ that is going to sit on the judgment seat. Mm -hmm. So what they think don't count. It is what God thinks that counts. And Paul has said, preach other sin and he become a Hey, so I must preach. bring my body under subjection. Mm -hmm. Lest when I preach others into the kingdom, I myself become a castaway. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. And it is it is being embodied and embellished by from the people on the pulpit all the way down to the pew. From the pulpit to the pew, it is happening. I've known of pastors who, who, who beat up them wife, beat up them wife, she have to wear dark glasses go church. Kick her and box her and thump her up and then go preach. But the same goes for politicians, for leaders of industry, people who are supposed to be examples. So they show up in their nice car and in their suits and in their nice offices, whether at the parliamentary level or at the corporate level or at the church level, it matters not. Leaders are designed, are, 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 are covenanted to be examples. Set the rules and then break That's you. correct. But the devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. The devil is a liar. That's right, Leon Brown, Brownie. The devil is a liar. And so we must pursue, overtake, and recover righteousness, holiness, mm -hmm. and truth. We must pursue and overtake purity of heart. Because purity doesn't need to pretend. Impurity pretends, but purity does not need to pretend. Purity just lives. We all should aspire to have a Zoephus life, a pure life that illuminates, that others will not just see what we show them, but will see who we are. Amen. Amen. And so the last part of this verse says, you are not your own. Verse 20, you were bought with a price. You were bought with a price. Therefore, we need to stop doing the things that we're doing because we're not our own. 
we're not to, 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 to concern ourselves with what we use. When you buy a chicken, Sister K White sells chicken. And when Sister K has the chicken in the coop and they're, they're, they're going about eating and carrying on, they do whatever they want. But when she says, I am selling you this chicken, that chicken, once the funds have been exchanged and the covenant made, that chicken becomes mine. And whatever I desire to do with that chicken, I can do, I can put the chicken in the freezer and let it stay there until it becomes ice. I can give it away. I can cook it. I can do whatever I want with it because it becomes mine. The Bible says we in our covenanted marriage to Jesus have become his. And so what we are doing on our own, what we are doing for ourselves is not acceptable to him. We must seek to be pure without spot or wrinkle because he has bought us with a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Mm. That means body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotion. Honor God and flee from sexual immorality. Honor God and flee from wrong thinking. Honor God and free, flee from wrong speaking. Mm -hmm. Honor God and free from wrong listening. Honor God and free from wrong watching. Honor God and free from wrong touching. Honor God and free from wrong going. Honor God with every fiber of our body, soul, and spirit because we are bought with a price. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is it. Flee. Hallelujah. What does flee mean? Yes. What, is it flee? What, does, what does flee mean? The King James Dictionary defines flee. To run with rapidity. Yes, man. <laughs> like <laughs> Shelly <laughs> and Yusian. <laughs> no, 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 jog business. No jog business. <laughs> no take time. Yeah, yeah no take oh, time. A little overweight, so I have to take time, gather one step at a time. It says run with rapidity. Mm -hmm. Come on, Denise, your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Run, flee from every kind of immorality with mm -hmm. rapidity as from danger mm -hmm. to attempt to escape, to hasten from danger or expected evil. Mm -hmm. The enemy fled at the first fire. My God. Mm -hmm. So that's what we should do. Flee, run for your life. Hey, I like that, Shantana. Run for your life. Yes, run for your life because Joseph. you literally, that's Joseph, that's yes. right. Joseph Potiphar's wife wanted to take Joseph's life. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to just be intimate with him, you know. What she would have done that she didn't know, that if he had acquiesced, she would have taken his life mm -hmm. and the lives of all those in Goshen, in Israel, that he would have saved. And all those in Egypt as well. So for one little moment of pleasure, she and him would have caused so many people to die. We don't know when we involve in any kind of immorality or any kind of disobedience what the consequences will be for us or for others, depending on our call and purpose. It could be thousands, hundreds, or even millions that will die because we were selfish and all about a moment of pleasure. So we gave up treasure for a moment of pleasure. Let's not fall for that. Let's stand with God for what he has for us is greater than what we could ever have for ourselves. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So we'll finally finish First Corinthians, the First Corinthians part of purity. We're going to get into some other parts um, come beginning tomorrow. Hallelujah, like 2 Timothy 2, verse 21, Colossians 3, verse 5, James 1, 27, 1 Timothy 4, 12. We're going to finish all of those for this month because no. we're, really di di eh? no, we're really diving deep into purity and we want to milk and juice mm -hmm. 
everything out of it and still leave room for the Holy Spirit to come in and take over and do what he needs to do. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Bless God. You know, um, I got a testimony from, from, from uh, someone overseas yesterday and I just had to share it quickly before we close. Um, she said, Pastor, let me tell you the truth. I, 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 I have lived even as a Christian for a good little while and I, um, I lived my life as a good little while and I always kept everything that I've earned for myself. I never used to tithe. I never used to, to, to do any of those things as it relates to church, even though she, she went to church. Hallelujah. And she said since she joined the Fourth Watch family, she decided to start tithing to, to, um, to us. And uh, I think last month or month before last was our first time. And there were many things that she was praying about and desiring to accomplish with herself and her family. And she said when the, when the first or the second tithe hit, the account was transferred from her account, things just started to change in her life. Her marriage started to come together just like miraculously. God says, I've been waiting on an act of faith. He's not been waiting on your tithe. Come on, people of God. God is not waiting on your giving because it doesn't go to him. It's an act of faith that says, God, I know this is you. You have established this and this is blessing me. And therefore, if I, by faith, give into what you are, give you back something out of what you are giving me, then I will feel good. And God says that act of faith, not an expectation that God, if I give you 10% this month, you're going to increase me. You're going to expand me. You're gonna... It's an act of faith. And she said, when she gave that act of faith, Things change in our marriage. Things change in our in in our job. She got promoted. She got peer raised, and now she's got a, she she and her husband has gotten a house that they've been trying to get for the longest while. But the way they were planning to get the house, God exceeded that. God gave them a house without deposit. God gave them a house without paying closing costs. Who 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 sells a house and pays the closing costs? My Jesus. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. The seller of the house paid the closing cost. That's a hey, come Beautiful. on, somebody. That's uncommon favor. I'm saying to you, when you give into the legitimate work of God, not just work of God, because some things look like the work of God and are not. But when you can discern and identify and be blessed by the work of God, and you give into that without any expectation, God says, because you have done it by faith. I will come after you with the exceedingly, abundantly, above all you could ask, think, or imagine. And even things that you didn't expect to be touched, God will touch. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, because he loves us so much. So I had to give that testimony before we close. God is a faithful God. And I'm thankful that he has blessed our ministry that he has given us responsibility for so that we can be fertile soil that when you plant in this soil you plant with the with the understanding that god's gonna give you an uncommon increase in jesus name amen, amen. hallelujah 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 bless the lord father we thank you for your blessings and favor this morning we thank you for your love for your power for all that you have demonstrated to us we bless you and honor you and give you praise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let everything that we have prayed and everything that we have said be from your spirit and let it come to pass for our blessing and for the blessing of our family, our community, and our nation. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us get ready for communion. Father, sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. May they be to our bodies blessings and favor, strength and peace, joy, knowledge, wisdom and understanding, power, love and a sound mind. In Jesus' name, amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Morning, my sister Farrell. Bless you. Likewise, he, he, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup. And he said, drink. This is my blood. The blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you, faithful sons and daughters of the Most High God. Thank you for your faithfulness in arising and coming to be in the team of one accord to glorify and to worship God and to hear from him and to be a part of what he's doing in this season. Raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in Jesus' name. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day. God's way, for our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day, his way, in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you, and we love the world of honor too. God bless you, God bless you. Have a super califragilistic, espialidocious day. Hi, <laughs> praise God from whom all blessings flow. On behalf of Pastor Marsha Wade and Rowan Wade says, See you tomorrow, same time, same place, God willing. Be blessed, stay safe. Angels go with you to do what only angels can do for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right, that's right, that's right. Bye. So, yeah. Angel watching over me. Oh, hallelujah. You hear them big singing there. Angel watching over me. Mm. Every step I take. Yeah. Angel watching over me. Oh, yeah. You hear that, Sister Denise? <laughs> Pastor Marsha ready to cut a record. <laughs> oh, somebody's a big tune. Rush Fergie. <laughs> Y'all are something else, you know. No wonder we love you guys. So, all right, bless you guys. Hallelujah. <laughs>